Yo guys, Manly Dogs here. I just got off work and I'm looking at my computer and I see season 1.02 patch notes for multiverses is here with a ton of balance changes. We're going to separate this video into two parts, one for the hitbox hurtbox overhaul and one covering everything else because it is, it is a huge, huge patch and we'd be here for an hour and I don't want you guys to have to watch an hour video. The goal is to condense every bit of information, not read it all, kind of break down exactly what's happening and and try to tell you guys give you a tldr of what's happening in the patch notes so you can get prepared to hop into multiverses with gizmo on thursday 908 all right with that let's get started guys make sure if you like this video leave a like comment what do you think of the new patch notes and make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on because it helps me with youtube's algorithm you know we're out here grinding let's get started all right guys let's get started with the Season 1.02 patch notes. It is being released September 8th, 2022. In general, the gizmo will be arriving on 0908. He has his popcorn and is ready to pop off. If you guys don't know, this is the character from Gremlins. He's a, he's a little cutie. And we're really excited to try him out. Maybe we'll just be a gizmo main. Who knows? Spectator mode now displays team colors properly, which is awesome. The hitbox hurtbox update, which we'll get into in another video. So we're just going to cut this part out and skip right on ahead. This is the big one, guys. A projectile systems update, which you don't, if you don't know, this patch also includes the first part of our projectile system update. Multiverse is a game that thrives on interesting interactions between fighters, between allies, and between projectiles. But a player shouldn't need an encyclopedic knowledge of every attack in the game to feel comfortable understanding those interactions. Our goal with the update is to standardize global projectile behavior so players can better adapt strategies or strategies around projectiles this update is just the first part of our projectile system changes so expect more updates in a future patch so the changes standardize opposing projectile to always clank destroying both projectiles introduce the heavy projectile heavy projectiles break enemy projectiles can only clank with other heavy projectiles and cannot be reflected barriers and buffs that block projectiles more consistently block all projectiles and projectiles that explode no longer hit fighters that blocked the projectile and we'll get into a deeper discussion of what exactly this means for each character uh, as we as we roll, th roll through each character. Like I said, I'm trying to make this video quick and concise for you. So they also add directional action key mappings for keyboard, which if you don't know what this means, this was a big thing for pro players when they went into lands. They couldn't connect their, uh, I believe they couldn't connect and bind their keyboards at lands to properly map their, what, what they, like how they like to play. Uh, miscellaneous gameplay updates. Uh, they adjusted character mesh vertical, which means literally, uh, you can't clip through floors as much, which is a really good thing because I actually had a glitch that happened to me on Cromulons where I was able to glitch a Harley through the ground and basically throw them off the whole map. I mean, uh, throw them off the whole match, uh, wall floor and ceiling mounts no longer restore dodge meter energy, which is pretty interesting. But honestly, I mean, that makes sense. It's so people can't keep wave dashing going crazy with their dodging and, uh, not, not, uh, suffer a penalty improved input handling when an attack special is executed at the same time as a jump. In the past, it was possible for jumps to interrupt attacks and specials, thus leading to ignored actions. The change will improve the responsiveness of short hop attacks and specials. Obviously, this looks like it'll improve the uh, momentum of short hops and attack specials, which I'm really excited for. Some general perks. Clear the air. Updated description text explain the perk effect only applies to non-heavy projectiles. Ice to beat you, which for some reason, I, uh, they, I think this is a debuff to Ice to beat you again, which I guess because it was still too powerful. Projectiles will only apply ice debuff to fighters that are not already debuffed by ice. This change was also released for online matches and will now be applied in local play. I'll take that. Unstacked cooldown refund decreased from 0.5 seconds to 0.25 seconds. Stacked cooldown refund decreased from 1 second to 0.5 seconds. I think that's a buff for I'll take that because I think they're going to because what they're going to do with Batman and you see how they nerf Batman. This change was all was already released for online matches and will now be reflected in local play make it rain dog unstackable projectile speed buff reduced to 10 percent from 20 percent this is to punish you know those people who were just stacking the uh make it rain dog and projectile speed and you you just couldn't keep up with the batman projectile or any other kind of projectile in the game and it's it's to discern the projectile meta which is the big thing i think this project this uh patch does is it stops the entirety projectile meta and creates an overall better balanced video uh sorry multiverse let me take a sip of coffee All right, and then you have Sturdy Dodger fix an issue where the perk would not stack properly. So with that, 
Let's get into some of the changes for the maps. Not too much going on. There, uh, the trampoline health from Tree Fort has been reduced to 15 from 30. And if you don't know, that's to delete the fact that you could get knocked pretty early on if you get bounced off the under underneath part of the tree. I think once you hit it, it'll delete the tree, which is a good thing. And it stops you from getting knocked immediately right off a of Tree Fort. It's just not a good map, honestly. Still not a good map, but maybe this will make it better. Trophy's Edge fixed a minor asymmetry in the main platform's collision. So it's perfectly centered, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then they added uh, a floating platform to Cromulons to, uh, I guess we'll, we have yet to see what exactly that entails. All right, to get things started, guys, Arya, she got some nerfs, but also a buff because all the assassins' uh, passives got removed. They removed the 5% da additional damage taken debuff, which is excellent for any assassin main. Really makes them look a lot more viable in competitive play, and I'm really excited to see what people do. So Arya was dominating in competitive play, if you guys didn't know. Her, she was very easy to play for at low skill ceilings and high skill ceilings to get some early combos off and do some easy cheese and easy damage. So they reverted her to the early access uh, version of a special. We are finding that the skill and counterplay was being removed from Arya with the addition of the vacuuming effect making follow-ups nearly always true. This revert will give opponents the ability to affect the outcome by use of knockback influence and Arya air control to compensate for the opponent's KBI. With that, and long time short, that means you're able to dodge out of her attacks now. Uh, fix a bug that caused Ari's dash to hit or stop working, and then they uh, fix an issue with long lingering hitboxes and Ari's stolen face different special, which just stops you from being stun locked immediately right out of the game. So uh, I'm reading out these. Uh, I'm gonna fly through some of these, but but these are the big ones, right? We're watching Batman closely. The projectile system update will make it so all projectiles will properly destroy the Batarang. So we want to see how this plays out for a bit before further adjustments. The goal is to make Batman Batarang have understandable counterplay. And if you guys don't understand what this means, that simply means that Batman's Batarang is way too dominant in his kit, and he was it, like it, it made it a, a boring and mi kind of miserable fight because you had to play a game of. Uh, like a bullet hell just to try to avoid his projectile and it still hits you and it can still combo you and still hurt you but honestly uh the good thing the beauty of batman here is the two ground down special on the ground side attack uh they prevented a bug from projectile set from dodging all projectiles fix a bug that causing the first jab to be delayed going to jab two when playing online overall that's a pretty good change they changed his knockback angle and uh this makes batman just more consistent you're gonna notice a theme throughout the patch and that just makes him consistent in my opinion I'm excited to see what he can do with his ground down special and ground side attack buff and his changes to his air down special and air side attack. I think this might make Batman a higher level character in ones, but still not a perfect character in twos. But no character is perfect, right? The big one, guys. Everyone hates Bugs Bunny. And if you're using him in my chat, we are calling you, uh, you're just playing the game on easy mode. Same with, uh, same with Arya, actually. Bugs Bunny is still a bit too safe and unpunishable due to land canceling recovery. The new active frames adjustment and global hurtbox updates will hopefully make Bugs, up, Bugs Bunny up air attack more manageable from the opponent's side. Air side special got nerfed, air are changed, air up got changed, and then his air, ground, down attack, side attack, up attack, neutral attack, weight, and his signature perk all got nerfed. Uh, his So both of his side special and up specials are now classified as a heavy projectile. And same with the uh, safe, which goes into the new projectile meta they're, uh, that, that, that they're trying to stop. Basically, they added delay to all of his attacks, so they're not always consistently hitting you. And in his up air attack, uh, it's it's not as much of a lingering hitbox anymore, which means you're not going to get comboed 850 times uh, when you seem like you're ages away from the Bugs Bunny. The Finn, he got a ton of buffs because no one's been using him. And honestly... Just an overall, to break this down, Assassin passive uh, got buffed, his passive got buffed, uh, his air ground side special got buffed, his air up special, and his gr ground down attack got uh, buffed, which increased minimum di distance travel, which is pretty interesting. Uh, that's a, I found that's a really powerful attack, but uh, and his air ground fix an issue with a shockwave from high, fiving an ally would not hit enemies, just vacuum hitbox some more because it's coming to the final hit, which is pretty interesting. You can see some crazy combos come back. You might see a Finn meta come back, honestly, at this point with all those buffs, but they're trying to properly tune them and properly balance them, and I don't think they've figured it out yet, but it's going to be really interesting to see what comes out of this patch with Finn. Uh, I'm excited. I'm definitely going to give him a try because Assassin just seem like the go-to right now. Garnet got her beautiful, incredible buffs. Her projectile speed, the big one, got uh, a buff from 2,000 to 2... Th was the... Her projectile... Uh, uh, excuse me. Her projectile speed went from 2,200 from 2,000... Or to 2,200 from 2,000, which means it's way faster, which is really good because that's definitely one of her great kill moves. Her side attack can now be canceled out of. It's not a consistent uh, damaging attack. You can, you can use it to combo into some crazy things, and I think that's going to lead to some interesting Garnet combos. Um, Harley... My baby, 
the character I always use, which is my favorite, and I'm excited to say this because this is the way to properly tune this character without making her too crazy. They remove the 5% additional damage taken debuff and increase her speed from 8 1875 from 18 to 1875 from 1825 i think personally this is exactly what harley need she didn't need a weight buff she didn't need her signature perk change into a part of her uh, part of her kit it is a speed buff this will allow me to combo and move faster with this character and solidify uh things in in, in this kit that i, I might not otherwise you can pressure faster and move faster and that's exactly what this character needs iron giant got all around nerfs his air up attack passive air ground neutral special and his air neutrals attack he's got a bunch of whiff recovery his damage was reduced and it less gray health from his attacks they're trying to get rid of the iron giant meta guys jake uh the bane of my existence if you're playing him you're playing on easy mode change his air ground side special air ground down special air side attack and air uh nerfs his air down attack honestly i thought this character would go through more nerfs but they definitely didn't they just changed a bunch of things of how his attacks interact in the world the attack duration reduced to 30 seconds from infinite duration with recovery increased to six frames for his air side attack these are the, this is the attack that's dominating his kit the air side attack because it locks on you and it's weird so i'm glad to see that this got buffed lebron tons of buffs all around i don't really play this character too much but i know my boy chris exfer is coming in hot with this character he wants to try to main it and play this character and learn it because it is a complicated but interesting and versatile character you can bring into ones and or twos all around buffs they just increased all his hits his hit boxes active frame windows um enemies can no longer hit your basketball and his knockback angle will change on uh his air down attack and his cancel he, he can cancel out a lot more moves which which is good i mean that, that's how a, a, a basketball character should play he should be able to fake out and change up and and, and make you second guess morty received a bunch of all-around changes i don't think this character was broken and or power uh and or powerful and or weak just a matter of, and I've, i haven't really played him too much but um ally grenade passive has been enabled which is going to be really interesting to see in counterplay and duos the air ground neutral special air ground down special side special ground side special air ground neutral attack ground up attack ground side attack and extra flea juice signature perk yeah, all buffed now cleans up tom and jerry's mouse trap now cleans up guardians electric zone i don't play this character guys let me know what you think in the comments below what do you think of these morty uh buffs and passives rain dog he got interestingly enough two buffs enemies can no longer hit the spit projectile and vacuum knockback applied to first hit to help the two hits chain together more reliably now if you don't know rain dog i think might be a dominant character in this new patch because he has a loop that didn't get nerfed and uh it might have got shadow nerfed who knows but uh so to see that he uh he's getting some some buffs is kind of crazy in my opinion i think he's a pretty well balanced character all around shaggy got nerfed which is just great armor removed from the attack and knockback and push to be more horizontal lowered his weight which is incredible this character doesn't need armor just straight up guys that's what we're gonna say steven universe you cannot fly with this character anymore his air ground up special got nerfed after spawning two shields with his up special steven must land on solid ground where he can spawn more shields with his up special superman got a bunch of changes uh they changed the way he can grab enemies uh fix bug where he can grab enemies from far away uh now, now has an ammo cooldown for his air ground side special his hitbox his active frames on his ground down attack got changed his ground up attacks uh that the hitbox is just no longer i think this makes superman a perfectly balanced character he's still gonna always be a cheesy character because he's one of the only characters with a grab in the game but the fact that they're actually trying to tune him and still still buff and, and balance him i think is a versatile way i don't think you should nerf his grabs i think you should adjust them has got a bunch of buffs because this character needs some love but he, i think he could possibly come up in the meta his cooldown tornado decreased uh his recovery frames decreased i haven't been playing him too much but the people who have played him have gone crazy with him honestly dominating in some matches overall because they know he is still a versatile and good character tom and jerry my boy got nerfed that's my guy chris exiver's character his ground up special Jerry, uh, air side attack, air down attack, ground side attack, and dynamite split signature perk. Uh, they now detonate when they hit terrain, which is pretty interesting. Uh, jab one hitbox, extra frame, added three frames, recovery. He's got a lot of recovery to all his attacks now. And Jerry is also classified as a heavy projectile, which is pretty awesome. Velma got changed. We're coming to the bottom of the patch notes. She got nerfed to the ground because they're trying to get rid of the Iron Giant and Velma meta, which respectfully, I understand that. Uh, her air up special no longer applies weaken. Thank you. Bless. I don't know why that, that even did that wait wait i didn't notice it instead of calling the police velma now solves the mystery and calls the mystery ink gang and the mystery machine to take the bad guys away what that is awesome i am so excited to see that in play no longer heals velma but that might not mean they're they are gonna think of even putting the rest of the scooby scooby gang in the in the game no longer heals velma when it hits an eye thank you her movement speed was reduced and her weight was reduced bless that character was way too thick 
Wonder Woman got nerfed, her weight was reduced, her movement speed was reduced, her air ground sets were less, less was no longer project, considered a projectile, and her ground, ground that's no longer her ground down attack no longer breaks projectiles while charging. Guys, that's the patch notes. If you guys enjoyed this 13 minute uh, TLDR on exactly what is happening in the patch notes and what's changing and what's happening. I don't know everything about every character, but I tried to give a brief description and overview of what's happening and what you can expect going into the future of the game. Honestly, I'm really excited. I think this is an overall best, the best balance patch they've released. I'm excited for what's coming and what's gonna happen with these characters and what meta is gonna come into the new, new play of everything. So with that, I'm gonna go play Harley again now. I thought I was an REA main, but now I'm back to being a Harley main. See you guys in Multiverses. Peace out.